Hey guys, Minute here. I'm back with a new episode of Grand Duties Medieval, which is episode 5 of this world conquest starting in the Balkans. Oh, uh, my plan for this episode for this episode in particular, grab this, have everybody become emperor except for Pink cuz they're taking too long even though they have so much expansion expansion opportunities like they have Scandinavia. That's their expansion opportunity and like all the open spots that they haven't touched yet. They have plenty of expansion areas, but they haven't done it. Red's doing fairly well. I'm guessing that's because they control all of Kiev and part of Russia. I, I pretty much hope for Red to become Emperor. Find out where their capital is rather quick. And kill them. Actually, it might be... Oh, well, Lublin isn't leveled up high enough yet, but once Lublin reaches level 7, Lublin... I can just go for Wizna and then Gomel. I think Gomel's also high level. Yeah, Gomel's even higher actually. Go Wizna, Gomel. And then I have this huge open area in case their capital's over there. I don't know where the capital's gonna end up. I'm just hoping. Pink's capital is definitely gonna be in an area that I can hit, as you can see by the big s circle. Even if I put it in Ross Guild, I can siege it. Maybe not read because there's that big open area. Half of them would lose morale right away. But they'll they'll put it in Germany or Poland. I am actually betting on it to be Gdansk or Hildesheim. Those are my two. Highly doubt it'll be Poznan. Unless it is Poznan, which would be better for me, but I lost the bet with myself, so I'm upset. I do plan to play a lot more of this in episode schemes like this, whether it be multiplayer or challenges or achievements that I want to run. There aren't like in-game achievements, but I have a, a community on PS4 for this game. Also if you want to join that, just hit me up with your PSN name in the comments and I will invite you to the community for it, especially because we're looking for more players for more multiplayers and stuff, but people in the community are free to pretty much choose their own achievements that they can put in the community and then other people can try to get them with the only exception to putting your own achievement down that you can do it yourself and that you have done it yourself and then other people can try to run it you can put like start as a random country and become emperor before 1065 or something like that like those types of achievements it's good fun and I know that I'm going to be doing a lot more of them just fun as well and I might do videos on them if they're worth it. Like this is one of my achievements I think. World Conquest before 10 or before 1110. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. I, I put the achievement up without actually playing it. I, I myself put the achievement up. It was one of the first sort of custom achievements that I put up. And I'm just hoping that I can do it so that I can put the screenshot showing that I did it up in the chat. Again, I really don't know what my plan is right now. I'm still looking around, seeing what I want to do. I think most of all I want to stop whatever that is from killing my stuff. No, I don't. Not, not up there. Stay in Silistra. Lublin just is not leveling up as much as I want it to. Milan. Yep, you're good. Cool. Italy's finally looking like what it should be. I'm not going to be able to get any tools down south. Mm, I can turn Rome into tools. Toronto needs raw materials for tools. I, I should get rid of tools in Toronto. Mm. Mm, that's a hard decision. I don't think I'm going to get rid of the tools in Toronto. It's just too much work. Too much rebuilding. An extra thing to look at, which I don't really need in this game. This specific game.
You're still looking at a lack of tools in Silistro, aren't you? You're not making tools for some reason. Let me real quick just fix that. I don't need, um, I don't need string. No reason for you not to be making tools in there when you already have coal and iron. Coal and metal, I meant. Coal and metal. I'm just doing like this. I'm just looking at everything. It's going to plan. Everything's doing fairly well. I'm just mainly waiting on red and pink. I don't need to worry about my economy much anymore because after I become, or because after other people become emperor, I'll just steal their economy. Which will snowball into me winning the game. <coughs> what is my population? Not quite there, actually. That's a good thing to go for. If I reach 250,000 population, I can pretty easily have this upgrade over here, giving me plus 50% damage at the cost of plus 50% more upkeep, but who, who cares? I also forgot to start the video, so I may as well just do videos every five years that end up popping by. Just because, why not? It'll end afterwards. I've got what? 40 more years until the end, so 8 more videos? It'll be fun. Let's pink out war with Russia. That's super weird. Where is this happening? Mostly north. Partly south. I'm going north. Problem with them hitting me like that is because they're just constantly stealing my commodities and I do not want that. God dang it. <laughs> Look at all those commodities that they stole from me. Those commodity files are just what they've stolen from me. You can just go easily pick them back up. More lumber, more lumber, grain, 15 grain, 15 grain, this would be probably lumber. Bricks. Yeah, it's, it's nothing big, it's nothing bad, it's no big bad wolf. I don't know why I said that. So why is oh because you're producing metal? I was like, why are you already about to become a level sixteen? Because you got the metals. Not like that. Um, right here, and then right here. I was wrong again. Right here, then right here. Perfect. Then I also need you to have probably four more carts. And I will give you those four more cards right here. I need to let my cat in through the egress window. Hi, Lilu. Come on. Come on. Window's open. Good girl.
I'm officially back. It's been two years and what, ten minutes probably? I don't know. I'm just sitting here waiting. Right there is a good screenshot. Honestly, as long as I get that green out of the frame, as long as I get Milan, Alamac, a couple more settlements in Italy, and then a couple more settlements over here, just a bunch of level 16s, and that's all you can see. Just that would be one of the coolest things ever, in my opinion. Level 16 cities just look satisfying to me. They look visually satisfying to me. Oh my god, that's my issue. I didn't build anything here. Face palm. because they're trading. Got it. Need probably four more cards on that. So to arena, you can do all that. You already have four cards. So that's actually really good. Really lucky, I mean. Again, just waiting. Krakow, you, probably, you can probably get six. Start leveling up to church. You are still struggling. Why are you struggling? Stop struggling. It's like teachers to any kid. Just stop struggling. There's nothing wrong. Just stop. You're just not getting raw materials. You desperately need another settler. Probably around right here. Here's probably the best place, honestly. I'll just do pastries over here. Then I'm going to need another settler right here. I'll do automated shirts over there. And I think I actually can. Um, another settler. I'm going to need like two settlers over here. I'm honestly just doing this for the screenshot. I'm just a ton of level 16 cities. There's free salt over here, which means free meat. Can I do another settler over here for... No. I can't get tools. I can do tools down here though, like right there. It's weird that I can put a city right there, but right there. Just uh, pop, pop, pop. These are such terrible places to put stuff. But once again. I don't care, this is all for one singular screenshot. Doesn't matter what's in them. All our raw materials would probably not do me bad. Can I get him here, can I? Yeah. This is the only one that's actually seriously a decent piece of land. Why can I not? Please? Can I? Oh, storm. There we go. Whenever there's a storm, you can't build stuff. So whenever you're confused, just look up. my settler over here you never made it because uh things what <laughs> you're seriously telling me that there's no honey there Let's go. never lie to me again no i want pastries here don't i 
Please use some meat. There's really no. Um, oh boy, I'm gonna do it anyways. I I know that I need the wood there. It's just it can be. Ramani can give it to him. You, Mr. Settler thing person. Go over there. Don't get stopped. Go over there. Don't get. Go. Go down here. Don't get stopped. Good. Now, you wait for that guy to leave. Can, can you not? Wolf? Army, come down here and fix this issue that I'm having. Is it just a wolf chilling right in my lane? Won't let me do what I want to do. I don't like it. God dang it. Where's the army? The other way. The wolves are bullying me. Can you now go to the spot that I would enjoy you going to? Mercy Bokoop. Empoli. Wait, what did I want? I don't want a sissy producing any of this, did I? No, I didn't. Because I can't make sure it's there. Because no. None of that stuff. I can make everything here. What the heck? I almost think it'd be worth it to just make beer. To, uh, to, uh, to, uh, just make beer and raw materials because why not? Raw materials are kind of needed in this area right now. Gotta pop the rune. Come out and have fun, wolves. Get out of the way of Empoli because they just can't hold off. Hurry up! Those wolves are too mean. Let's get going. Looks good. Cool that I don't have any more settlers just chilling around in my everything. Cool, plenty of roads. I wanted a huge trader going around. I want like 20 million carts on you. I actually do want like 19 carts. I want another trader to just go between. Uh, Belgrade and Pon Poncevo. I'm so confused. These names are hard to read. I swear, I'm I'm not I'm not stupid. They're just yeah, really hard to read. I need more traders. Is what I need. No, no, that's not what I wanted at all. Maybe I am stupid. I can upgrade these guys. There's no food down here is the issue. Until you get upgraded is the thing. You also need to be upgraded so that we can have food. Cool. And now I should be able to oh yeah, more than enough. There we go. Aye, of course. Prague has volunteered to house troops. Pilsen also volunteers. Red has not yet gotten to capital yet, and it's really upsetting actually. Or I mean pink. Um red might have. Red. Red's an empire. Emperor, I mean. Red. Red, where's your no red? Where's your capital? Well, let me see your capital. Don't kill my troops. Where's your capital? Red. It's over here, right? It's it's right up here. What the heck? Where's your capital? Stop hiding it from me. There it is. Kiev. 
I can siege that right now. If I had an army. Nope, not enough an army for that, but if I... Here. We're going to spend the next 20 minutes in barracks. One thing about AI is they always do a perfect mix of their troops, a perfect blend. So it doesn't matter what you choose, or what type of unit you choose. Just pick a type of unit and fight them. Crack how they have knights, so I'm just gonna create swordsmen there instead. Lublin, dear you. Okay. I'm just going for a bunch of sabers and pikemen. If I can find pikemen, and if I can't find either of those, it's just swordsmen. Reason is, I'm. It's not even that it costs too much or anything to upgrade. I'm just way too lazy to do the upgrades in every single one of these cities. It's not worth it. Um, even though that it says your current maintenance costs exceed your current profits, it's not true. Yeah, it doesn't factor in trade, it doesn't factor in miscellaneous. There's a lot of things that it doesn't factor in on top of that, so you're fine. Did I make the colony shit? I did. I need to move that down like right now. This should have been done quite a bit ago. Give. What is that being supplied by? Lublin. Lublin. You're actually important now, so you get a free trader going directly to you from the one place you need it from. On a constantly ba on a constant basis. Because you're important. That's how that works. When you're important, you're important, and you need people the stuff for it. I don't know anymore. I just started talking and I couldn't stop. And those are what you call troops. Mm, sabers. I don't need another colony ship, but I would like troops. like a full army of 200. I honestly might not be able to maintain this, but I only need it to like kill red, and then red's economy will maintain it, it for me. Look at all the swords popping up, and suddenly I have more of an army. Let's just hide him in Prague for now. Scouts keep walking into my swordsmen over there and dying, that's hilarious. Uh, everybody go to Prague. This is not going to be a small military. A lot of clicky, buttony, really satisfying bell singing, bell sounding things. Oh, pink, I didn't see it. Well, what do you want? Are we still allied? We are still allied. Are you an emperor yet? Is that what that button was? No, you're not an emperor yet. When are you going to become an emperor? Pink, are you at least 15? You're 14. I'm so upset. Spain's doing really bad as well, though. Flee. Go lose the fight, and we all know it. Just flee. No problem. Yeah, I don't care if my guys die. They're just fighting a lot of enemies. It's fine. We're gonna go kill these guys real quick, actually. That's the army that I was looking for. It's a better looking army. Lublin still can't hold that army, though. It's becoming an actual fight between me and red, right in front of Lublin, which is actually terrible for me. 
I honestly highly doubt that Loblin can hold this army for very much longer. It's doing really well though. There's the recession. I need to make this aggressive, finish it quick. There it is. Yep. The entire army's about to fall if we don't get out of this fight right now. There we go. Let's go to Prague. Yeah, so. <laughs> Kinda need to get Lublin going. We already know that it can't sustain itself. There's still just. Why are there so many scouts, Red? Taking over Red is a good step, because it leads me to Russia, and I think Yellow already has their capital, if I'm not incorrect. Yep, Russia, er, yeah, Russia already has a capital. Gives me access to their capital, and I think there's a Caucasus. Yeah, there, mm, there might not be a Caucasus, which would actually kind of ruin me, because I need to get access to Saudi Arabia. I decided not to go down Constantinople. I'll figure it out. I I need to do it, but I know where how I know where how many are. So one, two, three, four, five. I know where five are because we know that there's one Spain. Six because of Africa, and also I forgot about this. Good news, honestly. Getting that done. Yeah, I don't want the one in Zagreb, though. I want the one in Toronto. Yeah, all I need you to do Saturina up to Tripoli. Constantly do that. You need. Ton of carts, probably around 19. Just to make up for all the time that it takes to go from one side of the sea to the other. So many scouts. I don't understand why. It's almost the end of the episode, though. Grand Lord of Pomerania. This is Germany, right? No, this is... Sorry. This is... Poland. Sweet, honestly. Like, that's perfect. Being able to see all of Poland actually kind of helps. Oh, you can actually fully develop. My bad, I was neglecting it. Same with this, I'm guessing. Yeah. See no reason not to start that. I got robbed. Is that from a bandit? Or if it's from a bandit, I, I'm not from red. Still just shoving scouts by Loblin for no reason. Yeah, the AI might need a rework in this game, but it's the game's been up for so long and nothing's changed. I highly doubt there will be anything that changes.
God dang it, stop attacking. Look at that army bear, you wanna fight me now? That's what I thought. We're going back home now. Well, Blin, how you doing? Ready to come level 16 and then finally take out red. This is about the date that I said that we were gonna take out red as well.